Hello YouTube, it's me, Bergy, and it's day three of Vlogmas, and it's 12.30 yet again, so I slept in because I didn't end up going to sleep until after one, even though I said I wanted to go to bed early last night, but yet again, <laughs> didn't happen. So I kind of slept in, I already ate breakfast, as you can see I got ready, I'm going out to get a couple things done, um, so that way... I can be prepared for when I go down to London. Basically all I need to get is like my phone to work because I didn't really have a phone at all this semester because I don't really use it so I'm gonna probably need it when I go down there since I'll be going down by myself so I'm gonna get that done and then afterwards I'll just be um, coming back here to read because even though I'm two-thirds of the way done that's not good enough I need to finish it by tomorrow. Oh god. Ugh. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do that. I might do some laundry later, I'm probably not though, but we'll see. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys later because right now it's just gonna be boring. And yeah, so bye. <laughs> Hello YouTube, it is currently 5pm and I just finished reading um, Dystopian Literature, a Theory and Research Guide. And by reading, I mean I read only up to the dystopian novels. I'm not going to read the genre, genres. The, um, the plays, I don't know why that word didn't come to me. The plays were the, um, movie dystopia things. Because, I mean, I'm only focusing on novels in my dissertation, so... It would be tie it would be pointless to use those. I mean it would be interesting to see, but I don't think it's gonna be helpful, so yeah, I'm done with that. Which is great. Um I think I'm gonna relax for a little bit because my head is spinning yet again and my headache's back even though I took a um a leave this morning. It obviously did not work. I did go out, I got my phone fixed, so that's good for London, and I got some fruit because I've been very unhealthy, so I needed fruit. <laughs> Um, which that's probably not going to stop me from, like, having popcorn or something for dinner. I'm not a good <laughs> food model. I do not eat very healthily, and it's not good. I know it's not good, but I'm lazy, and at the same time, there are more pressing things to me than food. Which I know is, like, very weird, but yeah, that's how I think. So yeah, I'm going to just take a break. I'm going to do other stuff and I'll maybe check in with you later. Maybe not. Don't know. Bye. Hello YouTube. It's currently 11.15 so it's the end of the day and I probably look like shit because I feel like grimy and not good so I'm gonna have to take a shower at some point tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna go out much and if I do it's only just gonna run. I'm only gonna run to the library so I won't feel too bad but yeah. Um, yeah, today was quite productive. I got what I needed to get done concerning, like, my phone and all of that. I got some fruit, which was good because I need to be a bit healthier. Um, I finished, um, the dystopian theory book, research, whatever that book that I've been reading the past couple of days is called. Um, I mean, finished it because I didn't actually read the whole thing, but I don't really need to read the whole thing, but <laughs> I'm a person, and I'm sure I've said this before, I hate not finishing a whole book, and especially with something that has to do with my dissertation. I feel like if I don't read the whole book, no matter how huge it is, I'll miss something that's like crucial for my dissertation, which is not the case. I mean, the rest of um, the sections in the book that I didn't read probably won't have anything useful in my dissertation, but that's just my anxiety. I I feel like if I don't read the whole thing, I'll miss something crucial, which I need to get out of that because I have so many books that I need to read. I think I have five more, like, biggish books to read, five or six, probably closer to six. Don't know, and I really need to start writing, so I need to be more selective in what sections I read, but that's probably not going to happen because, again, 
like I said, I, like, I feel anxious if I don't read a whole book. Like, right now I just want to pick it up even though I'm very tired <laughs> and won't be able to read, um, without my eyes spinning. And I don't want that because I had, my headache got worse, <laughs> which I'm hoping it was stress related. It might have also have been because I didn't really eat well today, which is not good. Not good at all. Um... So I ordered Chinese, and I had that in the hopes that it would make me be feel better. It didn't really work out that way. I still kind of have a headache. It's not as bad as it was before. Like, right after I finished eating, I still like felt like my head was trying to like explode. But now it's a little bit more manageable. So I can actually uh, um, have it leave now. Hopefully that'll get rid of the last of it, but... I don't know, I am really susceptible to getting bad headaches. I don't know what it is. I've tried to figure out before, like, what is going on, and I really don't know. I was given, like, special medicine for it, but I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to medicine. I hate even just taking Motrin and Aleve, even though I know it, it helps. I just hate taking medicine, and I'm not, like, very good with, um natural stuff either because I'm so damn picky so it's a lose-lose <laughs> but yeah I'm hoping the, the leave will work and also if I sleep well today hopefully that happens because I want to wake up early tomorrow so that way I can pack and clean um, my room a little bit so I don't have to worry about a dirty flat when I go to London oh speaking about London I'm saying an extra day and I'm going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, or what is it called? Warner Brothers Studios? Leavesden Tour? The Harry Potter Tour thing in London. And I'm so excited because I, I did go once before, but um, that was during May, I want to say? It was during like the spring-summer months. So apparently they um, make it more wintry during this time of the year, so I'm so excited. And I, I'm just such a nerd, so... I could honestly live there and I'd be over the moon about it, so I'm really glad. So that kind of um, made the fact that I'm going by myself a little bit <laughs> less stressful because I I was kind of worrying about that. That's probably also why I had a really bad headache today. But now it's a little bit better because I'm going to Hogwarts in London. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? Yeah, so instead of four days, I'll be spending five days in London. So I'll be able to see more, hopefully. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm sorry you had to look at my ratchet face right now, but yeah. Yeah. I'm a lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> I could have taken a shower right now, but no, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. But, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Bergie, and today is day four of Vlogmas. And again, it's probably not going to be too interesting today. I'm just going to rent to the library to return the books. Two books. The one I read yesterday and then another one that I haven't gotten to, but I will be able to have at home because it has, somehow, it's in the library, um, in my hometown, which is really weird because <laughs> our library is not that huge, but I mean, that's good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the library, print some stuff as well, um, then I'll come back here, I'll either read for a little bit or I'll go right into packing for tomorrow because tomorrow I leave for London and I'm so excited um but yeah right now I'm eating breakfast and then yeah I'll probably watch a little bit of YouTube while I'm eating then I'll go to the library print stuff return books rush back read for a little bit probably just so I can get some headway then pack and clean this room because it is 
quite messy. That's why I haven't really shown you like a lot in my room. I've kind of chosen the areas that are kind of bare from being dirty. Although, yeah, not, not really. But, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, YouTube. Um, I'm back. I just, well, I had gotten back from the library a while ago. Then I did a load of laundry right now. I'm just waiting for that to um, finish drying, which it should be done soon. I also cleaned my room a bit. Not too great, but for the most part, I, ha I still have some other stuff to do. It's not that clean. I also, as you can see, I kind of packed some stuff. And that was my mom texting me. But yeah, I kind of packed a little bit. I'll show you better when I fully pack it. I think that's interesting and very helpful to see other people pack for stuff. Although, to be honest, I probably have way too many shirts. I don't need that many shirts for five days. But we'll see <laughs> how it dwindles down or not. Maybe not. Probably not. I'm really bad at um, packing late. Not good at all. But yeah, right now I'm just making a video. I finished uh, recording my fall favorites, so that should be up already by the time you see this, hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I made that. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. I was quite productive. I'm hoping to finish editing that video, then post it, then I'll probably read for a while. I'll probably Skype my mom because she just texted me. And then, yeah, just getting ready for tomorrow, which will be super fun. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, YouTube. So, I just did a lot of stuff. I Skyped my mom, and then I recorded and also edited um, a Fall Favorites video, which hopefully it'll be up now at some point soon. But, yeah, so I'm just going to use this thing, which I had mentioned in my um, Favorites video, the Dead Sea Spa Magic Mud Mask. And then I'm going to take a shower to get ready for tomorrow. And then I did kind of already pack what I'm bringing. Um, can you see it? Oh, right there. My suitcase. Um, I might unpack it to show you guys to pack it again, but I spend a whole bunch of time working on it to pack it, so I don't know. I might not. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put this on and keep it on for a little bit and then I think I'm just going to take it off in the shower to save water since I'll be going in there anyway. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is what the what is it? The deep sea mud mask looks like. But like once it dries down a bit, you're supposed to keep it on either 1 to 5 minutes. I usually keep it on for 5. You can see it like resting right on top of your pores and it's so creepy but cool at the same time. So yeah, I'll show it to you guys right before I take it off. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's dried a bit. I didn't, I think I put a little bit too much, but like if you can see on my nose a bit, you can see kind of the holes and it's really interesting. Yeah. So you can see what little things interest me. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And you'll see my face after I take a shower, so I'm going to go take that shower. Okay, hello YouTube. It's been quite a couple of hours since I last checked in. I took a shower, I ate dinner, I read for a bit, um, watched a movie while I ate, I Skyped my mom. And yeah, so now I'm probably just going to edit the Vlogmas from yesterday and today. Try to post that up today so that way I don't have to worry about it at all tomorrow even though if I don't get it up today I'm not gonna get it up until probably the 10th so yeah I want to try to get that done so nothing's really up right now just relaxing um and yeah so I hope you guys have a good day today was quite a productive one for me and I didn't have a headache I mean I had a minor one but not a bad one not as bad as the other ones have been so that is good very good because I would have died. Let's just hope now that I don't get too anxious or too stressed about tomorrow that I'm able to sleep because I have to wake up at 6 in the morning which is not going to be fun but gotta do it so I can get to London. Um, 
because yeah, my my bus is at eight, so I gotta wake up early. So yeah, that's basically it. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when it starts to get fun, hopefully. Although tomorrow I'm spending most of the day on on the bus, so yeah, we'll see. So good night. Bye.